the effect page allows you to have up to three effects as inserts. And then there's four auxiliaries. And the auxiliaries show up on the mixer page right here. One, two, three, four. So if I want just reverb, and blow a reverb delay. And these are really cool because it's global, which means you can have this reverb. And now you can have eight different parts. You can have different amounts of that reverb. If you want a specific reverb, then you would go to the insert. You could say, go to the pro reverb, make it short. Hit the more button if you want to control separate timing, width, diffusion, freeze. The compressors are awesome. These are serious compressors. Bring down threshold. Now, if you want to hear that, bring the attack a little bit. If you want to squash it, just bring down your attack, bring up your gain. No more body. <laughs> Killed it. I'm squashing it. Now, another thing that's kind of cool. There's all these presets. If you right click, you've got also a handful of presets to get you going. Control click will also get you here for each effect. So I can go like that. Let's say, let's choose a chorus echo, which is a newer effect. Let's right click and again, look down here at this little box. Maybe even more important for the effects because the balance is so sensitive and a very, very small balance is going to give you a lot of effect. All right, another thing you can do with the effects is load up a preset. And if you right click up here, you've got all sorts of, this will load up to three effects that when you apply it to one patch, let's go overdriven. I love Primal Screamer. Bring down the mix. Very bizarre. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's go talking overdrive. So all these are presets that you can just call it by right clicking. Ambient spaces. Let's go to space. A lot going on there. So effects. Huge amount of choices to work with. Let's get to chaos. So we turn on loop turn on chaos by turning on the power button and I leave that on all the time when I'm using this in a song because I'm going to assign things to the sliders that I can bring up and when I bring it back down to zero it's off so this slider determines a percentage of random if I bring pattern all the way up it's taking all the snippets that make up this loop and rearranging how it's going to play them but it does it in a very smart way there's actually some smart thought going into how it works. So when you bring up, you can actually get really cool things by using it just as it's never the same. So repeat, kind of a cool, like timing stuttering. It doesn't do shorter timing. That's where you would use buzz for, which we'll get to in a minute. Reverse, there's reverse. By the way, you have a reverse button right here. That's basically what all that's doing. But now you can randomize it. So you can go reverse just a little bit. And now, every now and then it just sticks in the little reverse thing here and there. It's very cool. All right, now we get to timing. This has to do with the feel. You can do subtle. If you bring this time 100%, how big of a range do you want? Really wide range. Now listen. It's all over the place. It's rushing and dragging randomly. If I want, I could say I just wanted to rush. So now it's rushing all the time. Or I could say drag. It's really hard to hear that without having another part to compare it to, but I'm not going to set that up. All right, pitch is really awesome. This gives you all the ability to do all sorts of random. And you can say just want it to be up and really wide range. So it won't go below the original pitch of the drum loop or down, where it will only go as far down as you say with your range, if I say just a little range, 
Now it's just a little range going down from the original pitch. If you have it right in the middle, then it's going to randomize going up some, and it's going to randomize going down some. Dynamics. This is volume. This only works if velocity is turned on the amp. If this is off, it doesn't do anything because what it's doing is it's randomizing the velocity values. So if you go back to chaos, you can say right, right range, soft only, only from the original down, which actually makes sense for this particular sound because it's a full length drum loop. This doesn't do anything. You don't hear any change. So it's only getting softer is where you're going to hear change. All right. Finally, buzz. Buzz is awesome. This creates repeating little short snippet buzzes. <clears throat> kind of the end sound right now. And there's a lot of cool parameters here to work with. Uh, one to use right away if you want is this blue light. That makes the buzzes softer than the original hit. So they, they, they're softer, just a little bit, but it makes a difference. So I keep that on usually. Time. You bring it down in this range, <clears throat> about 9 o'clock or so, it becomes like a 30 second note buzz roll. Bring down a little more. So you can do that kind of thing. Now, if you want, you can go to speed, and I can say I want to speed it up. So I'm going to call it up. And I want to give some range to timing or speed it to slow down. So start fast, but slow it down. You get all these really weird things if you if you play it right. So now let's have some fun for a minute. Let me show you something. Let's go to MIDI Learn, Learn Control, Touch Bob, Touch the uh, Buzz, and then my my mod wheel. And let's do the same thing for a couple other things. So we go Learn Control. Let's say Learn Pattern. Also to my mod wheel. Let's bring the timing. So you can do all sorts of cool stuff real quickly. And this happens even while it's playing from your sequencer. So right there you can do breaks in your song. So so easy. So there you go. That's chaos.